Oh, look at that. It's the same on all four sides. Right here would be a good place to hit. And they're laying down in the woods all the way down. No, that could be wrong. Hey, what's on my back? Alright guys, this is the original jail. Hey, let's get some mail detecting done. Well, Randy's going to strike out in this field here. Um, this is all part of the uh, this is all part of the Glen Springs area. Uh, right behind us is where that old jail was, and uh, this is part of the uh, landowner landowner's property. She's uh, she lives here. But uh, as far as mouth detection goes, today uh, and probably for well, for today, because I do have other machines. This one died. <laughs> it is gone. The only thing I can think of. Is the last time I had it out was that water hunt. That's when the pinpointer died. Um, I had uh, the AT Pro in the water too. And now it doesn't turn on. So I'm thinking both of my waterproof detectors flooded. So today you're not going to see much of me detecting. But I certainly hope that you see Randy pulled some nice stuff out of the ground. And I'm going to follow him like a hawk and maybe get some live digs here. So... What's happening to my stuff, guys? Come on. I can't get a metal detecting trip in anymore. Why? <laughs> oh, man. What's really bad is I almost grabbed the Fisher F44 to put in the car. I decided not to. It'll be too, too much going on. But uh, we got Randy here. He just dug a plug. Garrett cursed. <laughs> there you go. Where is that? Mm -hmm. Looks like a broke piece of plow blade. Right here is where it was connected at and it broke off. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see that? No, what? I missed it. What was it? Look at that. Got you a nice little green buckle. Let's see your buckle. Very cool, guys. Look at that. Was that your signal? Awesome. Yeah. So that just tells you that there's activity here. <laughs> yeah, it does. And if they lost the buckles. Man, I love buckles. I was telling you that that in the way here, I love buckles. There you go, you got your one. <laughs> Stick it in your pocket if you didn't have it. Oh, come on, man. Really? He just gave me his first good find. Now what happens if he doesn't find anything good from now on? He's going to want it back? Cool, man. That is a pretty buckle.
Here's probably something big then. There it is. It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, look at that. It's got the cover on it. It's got a cover on it. Oh, man, that's sweet. I got you on a live dig, too. <laughs> Very cool. Go ahead, get it. Very cool. Skeleton key lock. That is awesome. <laughs> that really is. There's right here. We we're trying to get to this black walnut tree here. And we're right under the branch. And he pulls that up. I hope that doesn't fall off. I hope it stays right there for you. That's the, I found a few old locks. Yeah. But I believe that's the oldest lock. That's definitely yeah. either late 1700s or early 1800s. It's beautiful. So that right, guys. That, it was picking up that grass, too. Yeah. It had enough of that squeak to it that I didn't want to dig it. Guys. That is a pretty piece, man. Very pretty piece. This is killing me, guys. Finally, this doesn't happen too often for me, but we made it to a historical site, historical location. You won't be digging up bottle tops and uh, pull tabs and things like that here. And my detector is dead. Wow. It's kind of fancy on it, doesn't it? Something decorative. I wonder if that was a pen. Piece of horse tack. Oops. Oh man, that thing's gonna clean up good. That has got. It was gold gilded at one time. Cool. Yeah, what do you think, guys? What is that? I wouldn't try to bend any further. Mm -hmm. I see a big old crack right there. That's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Old field's paying off. Guys, I was a little slow in the draw. I didn't turn the camera on for this live dig. He just pulled this silver out. Not exactly sure what it was. I think he hit it right there. It's very decorative. He just gasped. <gasps> silver. <laughs> he says, not a coin, but it's silver. Man, what is that, guys? That is pretty. You got your brush? Yeah. Alright guys, we're going to get this cleaned up. And right in here, I know you're not going to be able to see it on the camera. But it's, it's like a symbol with a flag. What would you say? It's like F or E8? Uh, FB. FB, okay. And it says Sterling. And then it's dated. And because of this, we can't get the date off. We can make out 18 something. Look at that. What is that, guys? We don't know. I thought it might be like a, a silver drawer pole or something, but I'm really not convinced I'm right about that. Gorgeous piece of silver. There it is. Copper. Lipstick case. 
Oh, then. What is that? I don't think it's a lipstick key. That is something else. Hmm. All right, we stopped shooting live videos of, uh, of his digs uh, because it's killing the batteries. But he found something. Uh, at first, uh, we thought maybe a shotgun shell until push pushed all the dirt out of it. And we found this hinged area. You see that hinged area right there? See that? Now, I'm thinking... I don't know. But maybe somebody else knows but I was thinking maybe it sat down in a pipe and it had the the bolt the thing that flipped up you know flip back down to keep the tobacco in or else it could be a, a snuff bowl it's a little thing but a whole way what do you guys think any ideas Okay, so he just found a part of a harmonica reed, which is cool. He still has something in the, in the hole, and he just found one of those keys that you use to open up tin cans with. Alright guys, check it out. Here is an old privy on this property. Still existing. Can you believe it? Yeah, I guess I'm not going to get in there, but that's just as well. I mean, how, how many times have you come across this, right? Bush. <laughs> Man, we got us a token. It looks like it's got that could be play money. I don't know. Alright, we got cleaned up. What is that, Randy? It is a public welfare tax token from Louisiana. From Louisiana. And here we are in South Carolina. I'm assuming it's good for one cent in tax. Flip it over. Is, there, is it different on the back? Or? Mm, that's the same. It's the same. That is my first ever tax token. That is awesome. Man, look at that. It's thin. It's a little bent. But that is awesome. That is a great find. And I was there for it. I like that. And I see this is the kind of thing I want to find right here. I mean this and relics, but I want to get I want to get some tokens under my belt like this. This is my first ever good four token. Oh, well, there you go. Awesome, man. Awesome. From the post office. Really. If it's from this one, that would. Postage guaranteed. Finder, deposit any disabled veterans, disabled American veterans, yeah, Cincinnati. When you said postage guaranteed, I was wondering if it's going to be one of those. What is that? It's got mold, it's got like uh, wax or something. It does have silver in it. There's wax right there. It's thin. It's almost like a mold or something. Very decorative. You think there's more of it, huh? Let me see one of those brushes. 
It's this sterling? Yeah. Oh, There's a second part that came out with it. I'm thinking that's probably a two part handle to a dinner knife or something. I don't know why it gets so thick right there. See the two has to go together. I don't see where it says sterling on it. Finding silver today, aren't you? Not coins, but relics. Sterling silver. Now I want to see you put them together, back to back, and see if it makes sense that way. It does, don't it? Sure enough, look at that. So when you find a silver butter knife and it's thick like that, don't just assume that it's solid. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I don't even know if that's a butter knife. It just looks like it's a handle or something, though. Yeah, it was some kind of handle. And both sides, I believe, are marked sterling. Hi, guys. Uh, battery died in the camera I used, uh, so I had to go back and get the camera I used for the intros, you know, the car camera. But uh, he had just found those uh, two silver halves of some s sort of utensil. Don't know what it was. But from now on, it's going to be a different camera. So, I hope this works. <laughs> Alright guys, he just dug this old key up. Kind of cool, looks... It's a GM key. Yeah, I saw GM there. Uh, registration... No. Oh, Bri Briggs and Stratton. Okay. Milwaukee. And then on this side it says GM. <laughs> huh. That's a cool key anyhow. Alright. Alright, I just got the look. I got a video. I got a video of this. It's some metal. And it's dated 1898. Oh my goodness, what is that building there? And it's Spanish. Because it says so. <laughs> I wish I had that, the other camera working. Oh my gosh. This what is, is it? from the Spanish War. This is a Spanish War medal. Really? Yeah. Pull it out. It's a service out. metal. For service, Spanish War, 1898. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. And you know what? That uh, building in the middle, I think that has something to do with um, what branch he was in. I, I, I can't remember what they call it. Oh, clean the back up. There's something on the back, too. I can't remember what they call it. Something about... Um, That's a rubber flag. Confederate daughter... Oh, I know what this is. He was a Confederate soldier. This is from the United um, Confederate uh, Daughters. Uh, um, what do you call it? I can't remember what you call it. Yeah, this is from the Confederacy. Oh, dude. Wow. Look at that. If you remember, if you see a Confederate... Uh, Confederate soldier's grave. A lot it's of got times he has those that symbol on his grave. Sitting right there, yeah. That is an incredible find, buddy. Look at that. I'm speechless. That is awesome. That is awesome. How you feel? Lucky. <laughs> uh, 
I, I can't believe it. No, that's absolutely incredible. And what was the day? 1898? Wow, oh, man. This is crazy, man. That. We can go home now and be happy. Finding this stuff. No. I told you. Why isn't my detector working? Why can't I be finding that stuff? <sighs> uh, this ain't the only place. Trust me, I got more. All right, man. <laughs> you got a brush? Yeah, I got a brush. Hi, right, guys. <laughs> we got something good here. I can almost make the eagle out now. There is no eagle, is there? There's me wishful thinking. What is that? This is a fireman's button, I believe. What is that? This is... Is that like a military school? I believe it's fireman. That is, that is cool. There's a pick and a shovel. I see a guy over here. There's a guy right there. Yeah. I think you're right. That is awesome. Everything on the back. Yeah, it's got a back mark. Got the shank. <laughs> How did that shank survive? I don't know, but watch yourself around it. There are marks on the back. I can see them. See if I can find some good light here. Check it out, guys. That is pretty cool. Wow. Alright guys, uh, we're going to do a wrap up here. Uh, this is uh, everything good that was found at this location. And uh, there's an awful lot here. So uh, uh, let's get right to it. You want to tell me what, what it is? Yeah, let's see what we got. Alright, we got a Louisiana tax token. Um, a button. I don't know exactly what it is. If anybody knows what that is, feel free to send a comment what it is. It does have a shank on the back. That's a cool button. Um, a Spanish War for Service um, medal or um, something of that sort. Um, pretty neat deal. 1898. Got um, your normal stuff you find at Old House. Mason jar lids. Um, stuff like that. Three pieces of sterling. That, that, and that. Um, don't know what that is. Exactly. That was pretty cool. Yeah, and then we got this... Um, Disabled American Veterans tag. Um, 
that lock looks like a shackled lock and uh, then that door lock and it was fun that's for sure got a wide variety of things here you even got got a key and a harmonica reed uh, cool things that's just one thing I, I didn't get on the camera though that's just boy it's light like aluminum uh, I think he said it might have been a uh, match thing actually it looks like there might be some writing right across there yeah. but, either match match tin or a uh, lipstick tube and this was kind of cool this came out of the ground it had uh, like 1898 on it and this unscrewed to reveal like a light socket so why that light socket needed that cap is kind of cool I don't know but uh, we had a lot of fun yeah it was fun hot but, uh... it was very hot that's it guys uh, there's a cool piece there I don't think we seen it. yeah we did okay yeah. Now well, guys, we're done with our hunt, um, and of course my metal detector wouldn't even turn on. Um, I was about ready to drive away, Randy said, hey, how about if we uh, try turning the AT Pro on one more time? And he did, and it came on, but uh, look what it's doing. Pick it up off the ground. See those numbers are just dancing. Shouldn't be any numbers, it's off the ground. So, so something is messed up. All right, well, either way, I have a repair to make. So, that's uh, the update for the video. Guys, this video has been very frustrating to bring to you. First, uh, my AT, uh, my AT Pro died. Uh, would not even turn on. Finally did turn on at the end of the night. Uh, numbers jumping around is still unusable. Can't use it. Um, then the cameras I shoot the videos with. Um, I have two cameras. One I use in the car. One I use out in the hunts. Um, one I use out in the hunts died out in the hunt. So I had to go to the car camera and start using that for the rest of the hunt. Um, well, that camera's dead now. But the hunt camera, this one, is alive again. So I'm using that for the car video at the end here. Um, been a lot of fun though, uh, in spite of all this uh, technical difficulty. Um, guys, some of the things that came out of that ground, absolutely amazing. Uh, I, I just, I didn't expect it. I knew it was uh, there, I knew it was possible to find it. But when it came right down to it, and I saw it laying there on the ground, wow. I think my favorite, my favorite two, are going to be that Spanish War medal. Um, that fascinated me, that that was there. It just fascinated, it just fascinated me. Um, my next favorite was probably that button. Um, at first, we thought maybe a fireman's button. I, I don't know. It still could be. I um, got to look at it under the loop here at the end of the night, and um, it could be, but it, it there's things about it that that don't seem right for firemen. I I don't know. Um, hopefully, we can get some information on that button. Um, <laughs> it's an amazing find. But anyway, guys. This was not a typical video for my channel, um, because the finds were good, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I know we really enjoyed bringing it to you, and uh, we'll catch you all next time, bye.